Good morning, Skyhawks. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God. Indivisible and liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning, Skyhawks. I'm Christina Gonzalez. And I'm Armando Ruiz. And you're watching Skyhawk Productions. If you are interested in being on the Executive Board of Girls Club next year, you'll need to attend their meeting right after school in D205. Summit is offering a full year of Art 1 this summer. If you need your year of visual performing art requirements for college, this might be your answer. Today through April 29th, you may purchase up to four additional graduation tickets. They are $5 each and will be combined with your six free tickets. The remaining tickets will be sold May 2nd through May 13th. The amount you can purchase will be disclosed on May 2nd. If you would like to sign up for peer leading, ask a peer leader where you can pick up an application. Don't forget that AP pre-administration will be next week. It is a mandatory meeting and you must be in the NPR at 2.45. Meetings should last around 45 minutes to an hour. Please arrange after meeting transportation. Contact Ms. Hoff and J104 if you have any question, conflicts, or need an alternate date. Bring photo ID and personal information. Juniors, college night will be held Tuesday, April 19th from 6 to 7 p.m. in the NPR. Hey, did you go to the art show? No, but someone in TV Pro did. Let's take a look. I wasn't at the art show, but when I found out about it, I was pretty surprised. And um, when I told my family, they were pretty surprised as well, because I haven't told them that I entered, but I did anyway. Uh, I actually wasn't at the event to know that I got honorable mention. Miss Morris told me the next day, but I wasn't really expecting to get anything. I kind of just did it to try. Um, it was pretty nerve-wracking because when I heard my name, like, I was shocked. I was like, wait, what? And I don't know, just knowing that I won second place, it shows that I have improved in, like, in my art and photos. Congratulations to the winners, you guys did a great job. ASB also did a great job with last week's Monster University themed rally. Let's check it out.
I loved my last rally. I love my lunch lady. What? I love my lunch lady. Do you not know your lunch lady? No. Well, maybe this video will help you get to know her. My name is Sheila Gonzalez and I am a kitchen assistant here at Summit Cafe. I never feel my hard work goes unnoticed because it's not just only me in the kitchen, it's everybody. Uh, we work as a team um, from our management to our drivers to even the delivery drivers and the rest of the kitchen staff. They always pitch in and help and we help each other. At the end of the day, we always get a thank you and we'll see you tomorrow. Um, the students always thank us they are always nice. Um, we always thank them. If it wasn't for them to come in and eat, we wouldn't have a job. So I would always try to say thank you and have a great day. Um, the rest of us as staff as well, uh, we always have a smile on our face and we always try to help the students as best as we can. And if you're having a rough day and we say hi, good morning, have a great day, just know that it's sincere and generous. Did you go to the Link Crew Carnival? No, I'm not in Link Crew or a freshman. Oh, that's right. Well, let's take a look anyway. Wow, that looked like it was pretty cool. You know who's cool? This week's scholar. You're right. My name is Andrew Villanueva, and I am this week's Skyhawk scholar. High school is obviously going to college and it's such a big step so after college is going to be completing my BSN in nursing and become a CRNA in Kaiser Permanente Hospital. This is like a big problem for seniors and sometimes for other classmen as well but honestly think about your future and that's pretty much how you progress like I'm thinking about going to college and what my college is seeing on my transcript so that's pretty much what I'm doing. To be, I don't want to say like made for it, but 
you have to do most of the work yourself. You can't rely on the teacher to teach things. You have to be on your own, independent study, ask the teacher for some help if you don't understand things. But it's, it's pretty much all on your own. You're teaching yourself, but it, I like it. I'd like to make a shout out to all my friends, including Eddie, Chris, Marco, you guys know who you are. Um, and I'd like to shout out some teachers as well, like Donde, uh, Brat, and Tedder for staying after school, helping students and all that other awesome stuff that they do. I'm here, uh, I'm very humbled to be talking uh, about uh, Andrew Villanueva, who has been chosen as the nerd of the, I mean, scholar of the week. Um, Andrew is outstanding in class, and, um, you know, he's a, he's a solid, you know, B, C student. Um, maybe he'll get an A if he gets lucky by the end of the year, but, um, eh, you know, if I'm in a good mood or something, we'll, we'll give him an A. But um, I understand he's going to college, Grand Canyon University, where he's going to be studying nursing. And based on uh, my experiences with him in the anatomy physiology class, I think that he will be very, very successful in college, and um, especially in his career path choice uh, to be a nurse. Very reliable. Keep up the good work. Summit is proud to call you a Skyhawk. In other news, let's see what Just Tiff has been getting herself into. Welcome to the good life. And after all the talk, all I gotta say is... Welcome to the good life. You're welcome. You're all welcome. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I get to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. Hi, I'm here with Laurel Kennedy, Samantha. Okay, guys, so how was prom? It was really fun. Fantastic! Dang, <laughs> you're happy. But, um, well, so what did you guys wear at prom? Um, I wore like a mermaid dress and it had flowers on it, and yeah. Mm -hmm. I wore a dress. What kind of dress, <laughs> Sam? Anywho, I heard two people. I heard a couple people had you guys' dress. How do you guys feel? Um, I I feel like if she felt good in it, and she was my friend, okay, let's so say I. This. We both look good, so I don't <laughs> care. Well, you look good. I look better. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. No, That's we shit. both look good. You know, I thought I looked good too. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I look good, and I hope you look. You thought you looked good too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we done. Hi, I'm here with TYB Court, Courtney Casey, Michaela Thompson, Kylie. Okay, guys, so how was prom? How was prom? <laughs> it was cool, you know. The DJ was terrible, but you know we had to make the best out of you it. Just diss him. I heard somebody had your outfit at prom, Courtney. Excuse me. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. I gotta let you know. No one had my outfit at prom. I. Hey, I was just the baddest girl. Girl, that, yes, girl, girl at, at prom. prom. You know, so don't get what that confused. What were you wearing? Can you explain why you were the no. baddest? All right, so I had on this nice all black female tux. You know, female, with, fe yeah, female tux. You know, with the the uh, little print. I don't know what kind of print it was, but okay, you know, next, you don't know what I was wearing. <laughs> okay, so I was wearing. This. Some, I heard somebody had your dress. You know what? No. Somebody had my dress but in a different color and that color was not popping. Uh -uh. Blue is basic. It was the royal. No, blue out. is basic, but mine was royal. Blue. Oh, really? hey, it was royal blue okay. and it had a little nude. It had a couple of diamonds in the... Fake <laughs> diamonds crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I got I got the real ones. Um, What is it? Engraved? <laughs> engraved? We got no, I'm just I got them put on. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here Kylie, what were you wearing? finally my turn <laughs> okay look stop um i was wearing a royal blue dress uh -huh. and i had an open back nobody had my dress because no, i went far so i made sure nobody had mine. Sure. i yes. saw her dress at windsor at the mills oh your 
you're wrong because I got a Bloomington. But I saw it there. <laughs> it was at Bloomington. I mean, Bloomingdale. Bloomington. How far is that? Right down that? the street. I'm in Bloomingdale's in Costa Mesa. Oh. So make sure for y'all juniors and upcoming seniors, go to Bloomingdale's. They got the best prom dresses. But they expensive. Make sure you got some money. It's like $300. Said that. So prom was a good experience for you guys, I guess. But I enjoyed myself I, a lot because I had the best date. Aww. So yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was cute. That was. Yeah, it was fun. Um, my date Where was, was your lit. Date at? Oh yeah, her, her date was. <laughs> my date was lit. He was lit. He was, himself. He was, he was yeah. lit. So he was so lit. He my broke date, her phone. Look at he broke <laughs> prom, y'all. This is from prom. And he will be paying. So and he will be paying. <laughs> yeah. Casas. Hopefully it's a boy, so we can have another Casas. Oh, you know he won Teacher of the Year. Oh, congratulations! congratulations. You congratulations uh, because congratulations. of me, you won. No, because you're an inspiring me. man, you won. Because of me, Casas, I made who, sure every class. Who, 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 for you. who did you give your first referral to when you first started here? Me, <laughs> me. This is Tiffany. <laughs> this is Courtney Casey. No, signing Tiffany out. Auto signing off. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's Sydney with a recap of this week's sports. Good morning, Skyhawks. I'm Sydney McCarthy, and I'm coming to you with sports. Last week in sports, varsity softball and baseball had tough losses against Kaiser, but our boys' varsity tennis team won against Kaiser on Wednesday. Our softball team has worked so hard to make their way up to the top. One person that has the biggest role in doing so is this week's Athlete of the Week, Desire Enriquez. Let's check her out. What are we fighting for? Seems like we do it just for fun. Hi, my name is Cynthia, and today I'm here with with our plastic guns, breathe deep, bottle it up. What's your favorite part about softball? My favorite part about softball is um, the girls, the coaches, and just the sport overall. How does it feel to be after the week? It feels good being recognized by my coaches, being on varsity for three years, it means a lot. What is your role on the team? I'm a pitcher and I play third base. How has it changed your high school experience? It changes my high school experience by meeting girls that have the same passion in playing softball. Any shout outs? I want to make a shout out to my mom, my dad, my coaches for always believing in me. Great job, D. Let's finish off what we started and have a great rest of the season. Our varsity co-ed swim team has been swimming to all new levels. Roll the clip to just see how well they're doing. So the swim season is actually going better than what I expected because guys are close to making CIF and the girls have been doing great like they always do every year and we're actually beating our times and becoming more faster and within our league we're at our competition. Third place with 265, Summit High School. Yeah! Spotlight goes to girls basketball who will be competing in the IE sports game Sunday at A.B. Miller. Be sure to go check it out. Um, I feel really honored to be selected because um, there's a wide variety of girls that could have been selected to be a part of the game and my coach had put me in and I'm just really honored that I got selected to play. The different skill sets that I'll be bringing to the showcase is um, my, my defense and um, 
like my shooting and just getting, making sure that all my other teammates get involved. You guys should come out this Sunday to watch the game. Uh, it's at 4 o'clock at A.B. Miller High School and it costs $5 with a student ID. So come check it out. Next week in sports, we have boys varsity baseball who play Colton Wednesday and Friday, girls varsity softball who play Colton Wednesday and Friday, and boys varsity tennis who play against Grand Terrace. That's it for sports. I'm Sydney, and this has been a Skyhawk production. All right, Skyhawks, that's going to do it for this week. I'm Christina Gonzalez. And I'm Armando Reese. And this has been a Skyhawk production. As we soar through the ages, as we take to the skies, we spread our wings with blue and silver, as we fly with sky up bright, loyal in our hearts, body, spirit, mind, come we learn, we lead the way, forever summit high. around the world uh, uh, to the beach y'all let's go uh, all around is so so dead it's gonna be a beautiful day yeah. Basketball is my favorite sport. Uh -huh. I like the way to dribble up and down the court. Come on. I keep it so fresh on the microphone. I like no interruption when the game is on. Game's on. I like slam dunk to take me to the hoop. Yeah. My favorite play is the alley oop. Uh -huh. I like to pick and roll. Oh. I like to give and go. Oh. And it's basketball. Bow wow, let's, let's go. go. Uh -huh. All around the world. Oh, geez. Oh, oh. Bitch. Beautiful dunk. Day every day is doing that. Oh, you way you did it wrong. Oh yeah. He said you. Can I do that? It's that game. No, no. He has to do it over. You know who's fighting the Skyhawks? He got to do it over. Mr. Perez. Not you. And you know no, it's tough. No. Because Skyhawks fly. No. So how can you be flying in the Skyhawks? Yes, yes, you know. Can't happen. You have to do it over. See you later, guys. He's talking. Perez, you have to do it.